Next to me is one of the most expensive Toyotas you will ever see. This is a $90,000 Toyota. I just got finished reviewing a $30,000-ish maxed out Toyota Corolla, and this costs three times as much, but you are getting one heck of a car here. This is the legendary Toyota Land Cruiser, and it has been around for over 60 years and is unfortunately departing the American market. Yes, after 60 years, this vehicle is leaving and 2021 is the last year you'll be able to get one. So we're gonna take a look at this 2021 Toyota Land Cruiser Heritage Edition and see just what you're getting for that $90,000 price tag with this absolutely legendary nameplate. Let's get into it. Let's start with the technology here. You can see you have your navigation and your Toyota Entune system. Uh, this is a much older system. This vehicle got its last refresh in around 2016, which is when they added this screen. As you can see, you have these little widgets and you can choose which widget you have. So for example, if you want maybe your weather, um, you can click that and you will be able to get the weather if you just tap where you want the weather to be and you will see it will download and place your weather right there. That does take a minute or two. Uh, looking around here, you can see that you do have this small gauge right here. This is again, not really used to what, or what we're used to seeing in these $90,000 plus vehicles. However, it is a vehicle completely made for off-road. The technology really is not the focus here. Um, so we're gonna take a look at the off-roading features of the vehicle and the rest of it, which really is the focus in this video. And you can see there is our weather. Let's take a look at the front of the vehicle. It is just absolutely massive, huge muscular grill right here and hood. You have your Toyota badge right here, which is going to have an integrated radar cruise sensor. And you have your camera for your 360 and trail system located here. You also have uh, LED daytime running lights and headlights. You just have an incandescent turn signal, LED fog lights down here. And of course you have tow hooks and skid plates underneath the vehicle. Uh, this new grill is part of the 2016 refresh for the Heritage Edition, your chrome gets a little darker. You get a little bit of a darker chrome than you do on the normal Land Cruiser. In this vehicle, you do have a very useful camera system. You can see right here, you have a nice 180 view. Right now, it's looking out the front and looking down the side of the vehicle. So you can see exactly where you are, which is great. And of course, you do have a backup camera if you put the system into reverse. And you can switch between the wide angle um, and the regular views. Let's talk about the side profile of the vehicle. 195 inches long, really gives you an idea of how big it is. And you have nine inches of ground clearance. Uh, no air suspension here. You have a kinetic dynamic suspension system. So you're stuck at that nine inches, which is great for off-roading, but there are no running boards. So getting in can be a little bit of a challenge sometimes. Just something for you to know. 18 inch gold wheels right here. They look fantastic with this appropriately named classic silver color power mirrors right here with turn signal integration. Really blocky look to the window line. Great Yakima roof basket up here. And you have your classic Land Cruiser script on this Heritage Edition commemorating the 60 years this vehicle has been in America. Now, there are some great off-road goodies. Uh, you have a center locking differential and you have a Torsen locking uh, limited slip rear def uh, differential. And this vehicle is full-time four-wheel drive. Now, let's get around to the back. Here we are at the rear of the vehicle. This is a very practical vehicle and the rear reflects that. You have an exposed exhaust down here, parking sensors, LED lights, give it just a really practical use. Nothing too crazy back here. The one really nice feature has to deal with the door. So it is a power opening door, which is great. Just wanna point out the Toyota badge is the size of my hand. Usually Toyota doesn't do huge badges, but they have on this vehicle. It is a huge vehicle after all. Nice little lever right here you pull and you can lower the bottom half of this clamshell door, which of course is great for tailgating or anything like that. Now, the Heritage Edition deletes the third row, but this vehicle has the $1,400 option to add it back in. You're gonna find around 40 cubic feet of space back here, around 82 cubic feet if you put the second row down. It is an absolutely massive opening. Uh, you can transport anything in here. You'd reasonably transport with a car or a SUV before you moved up to a pickup truck. Under the hood of the Land Cruiser, you will find that legendary Toyota V8 shared with the Tundra. This thing's pulling out around 381 horsepower and around 401 
pound feet of torque. You can expect around 13 miles to a gallon in the city, around 70 on the highway, and powers route through an eight-speed transmission to all four wheels. Now that fuel economy is not great, but that's not what this engine is about. It's about the reliability. It's not uncommon to see Land Cruisers get into the three, 400,000 mile range. Um, that is what this engine is about. It's incredible reliability and you can get some good towing around a 100 pounds. You get uh, some good power, you know, 400 pound feet of torque is definitely respectable. So it is definitely going to run for a long time and serve its purpose well. Let's talk safety. This vehicle does not have Toyota Safety Sense 2.0, but it does have Toyota Safety Sense Plus. What that means is you're getting blind spot monitoring, radar cruise control, and you are getting lane departure alert. All right, let's get into the Land Cruiser. Here is your key right here. You can see you actually get a special Land Cruiser key. Here's a regular Toyota key on the right for reference. And you can see that it really is, they, they went out of their way and make a unique key, which is really nice. Proximity entry, just put your hand on the sensor and the door will unlock getting in nice thud to the door as you would expect from the land cruiser looking around the vehicle there is just a really great mix of materials right here really nice brush metal um, you have this great fit it's fake wood but it looks nice with the metal and then you have soft touch materials everywhere all along the top the seats are perforated you have this wonderful brown stitching around the vehicle uh, it makes for just a really diverse uh, use of materials that creates just a really welcoming cabin one that is visually interesting as you look around and for such a large cabin that's actually really important it can be easy for these cabins to look sort of boring and bland but that is not the case here even though this vehicle is a little older uh, it definitely shows that a lot of care went into this vehicle when it came to choosing materials and just choosing the placement of items toyota did a really fantastic job here i'd start it up to show you the startup but the uh, fuel tank is on a low percentage just like how a low percentage of you are subscribed be sure to subscribe for more weekly videos if you're liking this one. Seat comfort in the Land Cruiser is great. They are power adjustable and you have power lumbar, of course, and you have three person memory seats. It's fantastic to have three different settings. You know, I think more and more cars uh, are starting to get two person. Having three is even better. Now you do have great stitching. It's it's nice brown stitching we've seen throughout the vehicle. It makes a nice contrast with the black. These seats are heated and cooled and they just feel really comfortable. They did a great job on the seats here. With your steering wheel here, it is a really nice looking steering wheel. You have this really great brown stitching right here, which looks great with the black leather and the fake wood up here. Just a really great use of materials, as I mentioned earlier. All your buttons are easily uh, accessible. You can hit them all with your thumb. They're nice and tactile. You, there's no mistaking what you hit while you are driving. And of course you have your two analog gauges right there and just a small information screen that uh, is you know, black and white and shows just some really basic information. Again, really nice use of the brushed metal in the gauge cluster right there. Pulling back from there, we can move over to your infotainment screen. This again was added for the 2016 refresh. You have nice big buttons which are easily uh, accessible right there and air vents on either side and these air vents are huge and it has a great air conditioning system it's a little cold today but uh, using the heating i was warmed up as soon as i got in this vehicle start stop button is nicely positioned right here easy to see it's not hidden behind the steering wheel or anything one button they do hide behind the steering wheel was the camera button since this is a vehicle where the trail cameras are going to be useful i wish they maybe made that a little more front and center as they did some of the other off-road features which we'll take a look at in just a second and you have your air conditioning system right here um, of course you have quad zone climate control in this vehicle which is really fantastic so all your different passengers can have exactly what they want looking at your center stack still right here you can see it you have this little cubby right here for your phone i have an iphone 10 and it will fit in there just fine though some of you with the maxes and the bigger androids might have a little trouble with that you do have controls for your heated and cooled seats and heated steering wheel right there along with a usb input you then have controls for your low range transfer case you have a uh, crawl control which is essentially off-road cruise control for low speeds you can start the transmission off in second gear which is great for those slippery situations you can turn off traction traction control a button for your center locking differential um, and then you have this which is turn control and turn control uh, will essentially lock the inside wheel of the vehicle and it will greatly reduce the turning radius of the vehicle which is great for a vehicle of this size 
manual handbrake right here. And then you have your two cup holders. As you can see, there aren't the little bits that hold your drink in. However, this will do just fine for most. In the Heritage Edition, you get a little more center cubby space because it deletes the cool box. So opening this up, you will see you have a little tote almost and you can pick that up and then you have a decently sized space right here it's not as big as some of the larger pickup trucks or suvs i would like to see that be a little bigger but it does make for a great armrest and i guess they probably wanted to make room for all the cup holders and controls up here here in the back of the vehicle it's a great place to be you could easily fit three adults across nice and wide and of course you don't have much of a hump here which is awesome to see the great materials from up front continue back here more of that fake wood and metal trim really works works well with that brown stitching and the blacks. All the colors kind of come out. It helps make this interior feel a little bit warmer. Speaking of being warm, you do have heated outboard seats. And again, that quad zone climate control with vents and controls back here. And the only thing I'd really like to see is maybe some pull out cup holders in the middle back here. Again, you only have really like a, a place to put a phone. And then I would also like to see maybe some more power outlets. You only have a 120 watt, uh, 12 volt system back here. Would be nice to have some USB uh, or something to modernize the rear area just a little bit. And now I'm gonna take you all to the back row. To do that, there's a lever down here that you pull. And you can see this folds up. Sorry, I'm holding the camera with one hand. And in you go. And now I'll pull this back and lock myself in. And now you can see we're in the back and I have some decent leg room. You could probably fit two adults back here. The headroom is a little limited. My head is hitting the roof back here. But other than that, I could definitely ride for an hour or two back here. Yeah, as long as you switch out with the adults in the second row, everyone will be nice and happy. And with that, this is the end of the Land Cruiser. I'm really glad that we got a video of it on the channel to just document its final year in America. And hopefully in the future, it comes back as something else. Um, I hope they give it really a proper name play in the future and start updating it again. This does exist in the Lexus lineup. However, it's just not quite the same without that Toyota badge on it. That said, this is a fantastic vehicle. And actually sales of Land Cruisers are spiking with the news of them going away in America. There are gonna be a lot of these on the used market for a long time to come. So that is some really good news. This is a fantastic vehicle. Yeah, it doesn't have the latest tech, but that's not what it's about. If you wanna go in Antarctica, this is what it's for. Or if you wanna carry seven people comfortably, this is great for that too. It will do anything that you need except getting more than 20 miles to the gallon on the highway. Thank you all so much for watching. If you like our videos, please consider subscribing. A huge thanks to Coons Westminster Toyota. Be sure to check them out on their website below. We'll see you all in next week's video.